circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. We're now joining up with the Rivers of America and entering the frontier as it looked more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the trip. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. <laughs> today so we can't go see Lincoln and I have to thank the cast member for this and as for Sprite he asked if I wanted to upgrade it and make it a Shirley Temple we got a Shirley Temple that's hearty that's hearty that's really really hearty Something Walt we'll always wanted. He liked them. He liked party meals, especially chili. Half of chicken. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get some gravy. selections that are coming out. Some of these things are huge. I'm kind of glad I went with some of this.
two ministry vehicles. In the nine hours that I've been doing this today, I'm surprised how much I was able to get back. And before four o'clock, to be honest. I mean, granted, some attractions that should have been on this list might have altered it and everything, like the treehouse, the monorail especially, and Alice in Wonderland. But I'm okay. I'm proud of myself today. I'm getting a little tired. But I think I just needed some food and definitely some water, some cold water. So I'll finish this and we'll get back out oh, to it. today, Flynn? I'm looking for some princesses. We started the game of hide and seek, and I'm losing, because I can't find them anywhere. Really? So keep an eye out for me. Okay, Thank sounds good. I'll do that for you. We gotta find some more characters, man. This is, uh, it's too fun. My. Who wants a fishy? Kind of fun to think that there used to be mermaids either sitting on the dock or whatnot in this entire cruise. There's a, there's a sub. Shades on, yes. We're ready to go. Who is this kid? Goodbye. I will say, this is better than Walt Disney World. Like, you get some shade, you get some nice views, you can see over. If the monorail was running, you could see it go over your head. Like, that's what I'm saying. I saw 6.5 miles per hour where it could have been 65. See, like, this I like. Look at this. Nice and shady. It constantly turns. You're not on a speedway. God, I hate that word. <laughs> See, now we've split up from everybody. And then we join in with somebody else. See, this is why this... Oh my. <laughs> this is why this is much better than Walt Disney World. I love Autopia here. I love Autopia. I could ride this all day. Oh, she We are now in the process of now 
figuring out whether I want to ride Dumbo real quick or finding a spot for the uh, fireworks because we're going to finish this. Let's go figure this out. This is a Disneyland staple. You gotta have a churro. They're really good. We will show the fireworks in a later video, so we will skip ahead and take to the skies with Disney's favorite little elephants. Me and my pal Dumbo flying. All right, we have one more attraction left, and that is Snow White's Enchanted Wish. I wanna end it with the one animated film that started it all. The only thing that we didn't get the chance to do that was open today was the Main Street vehicles. Ooh, it smells like sulfur, look at that. Is that our quarters? Oh my god, that's harsh. It smells like sulfur in there. Yep, thank you. Alright, sounds good. Just got a last minute chance. I think I just made it. Hang on, we might have to do something. We may hit it. Lincoln just opened up. We're gonna go in. Transformed America for over nine minutes. Unfortunately, the show does not allow any photography, but the presentation was too profound to keep out of the video. Therefore, I will turn you over to Walt, who will present the show as it was originally crafted back in the mid-60s. Ever since I was a small boy in Illinois, I've had a great personal admiration for Abraham Lincoln. 
So when we decided to recreate some of the great moments in Mr. Lincoln's life for the World's Fair, we directed all our energies to that task. We wanted to bring to the people of today the inspiring words of the man who held this nation together during its moment of greatest crisis. During our exhaustive research into Lincoln's life, we studied his mannerisms, his gestures, and even his voice characteristics to create a faithful likeness of this honored man. The final result is so lifelike that you might find it hard to believe. The world has never had a, a good definition of the word liberty. And the American people just now are, are much in want of one. We all declare for liberty. But in using the same word, we do not all mean the same thing. What constitutes the bulwark of our liberty and independence? It is not our frowning battlements, our bristling sea coasts. These are not our reliance against tyranny. Our reliance is in the love of liberty, which God has planted in our bosom. Our defense is in the preservation of the spirit which prizes liberty as the heritage of all men in all lands, everywhere. Destroy this spirit, and you have planted the seeds of despotism around your own doors. At what point, then, is the approach of danger to be expected? I answer that if it ever reaches, it must spring from amongst us. It cannot come from abroad. As a nation of free men, we must live through all time, or die by suicide. Let it be taught in the schools, in the seminaries, and in the colleges. Let it be written in primers, in spelling books and almanacs. And in short, let it become the political religion of the nation. And let the old and the young, the rich and the poor, the grave and the gay, of all sexes and tongues and colors and conditions, sacrifice unceasingly at its altar. And let us strive to deserve, as far as mortals may, the continued care of divine providence, trusting that in future national emergencies, he will not fail to provide us the instruments of safety and security. Let us have faith that right makes right. And in that faith, let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it. Thank you, Walt. Thank you. Thank you. This is the end of day one. From Disneyland, California, USA. Signing out.